welcome you all in the house of the Lord. Amen. If you have your Bibles, uh, could you please uh, open it in the book of uh, Isaiah 9 6? Book of Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. The Bible says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government upon will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Let's all pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord God, asking for your mercy, your love, and your forgiveness. We pray that you open our hearts again. You have the key that will open our hearts. Lord, come into our hearts again. Fill us with joy and laughter. Restore to us the joy of our salvation and forgive us for all our sins. No one in this place is righteous. For you are the only one that is righteous, Lord God. Send your love and your compassion upon your people, Lord God. For we are here because you first loved us. I'd like to give you all the praise and the glory and I humble myself that I may be able to clearly explain and preach your word with clarity because your word has power to change our lives your word has power to enlighten our decisions your word has power to provide for us your word is our only refuge and our only protection your word is our self-defense. Your word is our protection and our shield. And we bless you, Lord God, and give us your word. And we will be so satisfied just to have your word. And this we ask in Jesus' mighty name. All those who love the word of God say amen. 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 Let's put your hands and praise the Lord. Come on, put your hands and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ay po ay nandito, hindi para i-highlight natin ang mga problema. Tayo ay hindi na nandito upang itaas natin ang mga gawa ng demonyo sa ating mga buhay. Tayo po ay nandito upang itaas namin ang gawa ng ating Diyos na buha. Ang Diyos ay buha. God is alive. He is alive. He is here. He is beside you. He is in front of you. Beside you, he's on top of you, he's under you. You are surrounded by the love of God. Hallelujah. He is the love of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Okay, brothers and sisters, you will be seated, please, in the presence of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, God bless you, mga kapatid. At maraming salamat po sa ating Panginoon at binigyan na naman niya ako ng isang pagkakataon na makapaglingkod po sa ating just na buhay. Amen po ba? So sana po mga kapatid, wala na pong lilingon sa kaliwa, sa kanan. Amen po ba? At wala na po mga kapatid na uh, lalabas po uh, para mag-toilet break dahil mas maganda po na tayo po ay uh, nandito na po tayo sa Word of God. Amen po ba? Kung kailangan po natin mag-toilet, amen, eh, pwede po uh, bago po ang message ng ating Lord. At kung meron po tayo mga cellphone, eh, may pwede po natin itong uh, patayin muna para hindi po natin ma, uh, magambala ang Word of God. Amen. So all of us, brothers and sisters, in the Old Testament, by the way, today's topic is entitled, Love Letters Straight to Your Heart. Amen. Because Valentine's is coming. Amen. So in the Old Testament, my brothers and sisters, God wrote His first love letter for the Israelites and sent it to Moses. Amen. And this love letter is in the form of the Ten Commandments. It is all about the Ten Commandments. And the content of the Ten Commandments is a letter of don'ts. Everybody say don'ts. Amen. Amen. La, the, the first message of God to the Israelites is don't do this, don't do that, don't, don't steal, don't hate, 
Don't, uh, don't commit your neighbor's wife or husband. Amen. Don't, uh, don't cheat your friends. Amen. Ang sabi po ng ating Panginoon. Amen. Yung unang mensahe ng ating Panginoon ay puro huwag. Amen. Amen. Huwag ka magnanakaw. Huwag ka manloloko. Huwag ka, manlo, huwag ka manggugulang. Amen. Huwag ka mainis. Huwag ka magagalit. Huwag ka mapipikon. Huwag ka maninilip. Huwag ka manghihipo. Amen po ba? Huwag ka nga, huwag ka nga babato. Huwag ka mapipikon. Huwag ka, mang, huwag ka mga asar. Sa kinarami namin na inutos ng Diyos na huwag. Hanggang ngayon. Ang dami pa rin natin binabali at sinasalang sa mga kapatid. So sa mga kapatid po mga kapatid, of all the don'ts of God's instruction to man, we cannot obey those don'ts. There is something about the don'ts that attracts us to break the don'ts. Amen. Sa Pilipinas, wa bawal umihi dito sa bawal mag umihi dyan, bawal magtapon ng basura. Guess what? Doon pa mga kapatid, wa porma mga kapatid. Doon pa magtatapon mga kapatid. Nagiintay lang ng bag ng basura eh. Amen. Pag may nauna nang nagtapon ng basura doon, ayun na mamaya, may dalawa na, may tatlo na. Pero may nakalagay na signboard. Don't. Amen. But because of the don'ts, brothers and sisters, man fail to obey God's will. Amen. We have obeyed God's will. And then if we break God's will, amen, there is a fine, there is a penalty. Like in this place, amen. If you eat in the MRT, you get fined. If you smoke in the MRT, you get fined. Amen. Every time we break the law, there is a punishment for the law. Amen. But God understood that every man who breaks the law will be punished. But God does not want us to be punished. God wants us to be blessed. God wants us to be saved. God wants us to reach our final destination, which is heaven. That is why God gave His love upon us through Jesus Christ. Come and put your hands and praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. That is why he has been prophesied in the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. What am I trying to say, brothers and sisters? That God tried to reach out to us through Jesus Christ. And that is why, brothers and sisters, in John chapter 3, verse 6, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So the Bible is trying to tell us, brothers and sisters, that God reached out to us through Jesus Christ. Ang just daw po, mga kapit na buhay, ay nagkatawang tao upang tayo daw po ay hanapin, upang tayo ay abutin ng ating Panginoon. At isa yan sa pinakamatinding biyaya natin sa ating Panginoon, na pili tayong inaabot ng ating Panginoon. Dahil kapag inaabot ka ng ating Panginoon, suportado ka ng ating Panginoon. Dahil wala tayong, wala tayong magagawa na ganang sa anin lamang po mga kabarit. Kapag hindi tayo sinuportahan ng ating Panginoon. Pero pag inabot ka ng Panginoon, umasa ka, suportado ka ng Panginoon, bagamat may problema ka sa employment mo, bagamat may problema ka sa boss mo, may problema ka sa boss mo, may problema ka sa sakit mo, sa anak mo, God will support you. Why? Because that is the very reason why He's reaching out to you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Let us put your hands and praise the Lord. Amen. Now the question is, how does God tries to reach out for us? The Bible says in Acts chapter 10 verse 36, the word which God sent to His children of Israel preaching peace through Jesus Christ, He is Lord of all. What do I mean by this, brothers and sisters? God reaches out to us through the word of God. 
Amen. Through the word of God being preached to us, that gives us peace through Jesus Christ. What am I trying to say? What's the point? God tries to reach out to us by sending a preacher. God reaches out to us by sending the word of God through Bible study. The Bible says that God reaches out to us by His words. Inaabot ka ng Panginoon at gusto ka niyang suportahan sa problema mo sa asawa mo, sa problema mo sa emotion mo, sa pamagitan ng salita ng ating Panginoon. At yan ang number one na blessing natin sa ating Panginoon. Meron kang pangako na pinanghawakan mula sa ating Panginoon. Dahil kapag ang Diyos nagsalita, hindi yan mawawala ng visa. Nagmabisa ang salita ng ating Panginoon. Epektibo ang salita ng Panginoon. The Word of God is alive. The Word of God is living. The Word of God can solve your problem. The Word of God can heal your diseases. The Word of God can change your heart. The Word of God will be the lamp upon your feet. The Word of God is water upon your soul. Kanyang mga brothers and sisters, we must and we should prioritize the Word of God. Because the Word of God and God is one in the same. We can never separate God from His Word, nor we can never separate the Word of God from God Himself. Because the Word of God is God Himself. Every time you open your Bible, Every time you listen to the preaching of the pastor, every time you come to Bible study, every time you come and listen to the Bible teacher, the Bible is trying to tell us, you are getting Jesus in your system. You are getting Jesus in your head. You are getting Jesus in your spirit. Kinukuha mo ang kamay ng Diyos at inaabot mo rin siya. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. That is why, brothers and sisters, we are all here because God was able to reach out to us. Amen. Amen. Whether we like it or not, whether we, whether we admit it or not, God made His love for us known by reaching out to us. Bawat isa dito, mga kapatid, kasama na po ako, mga kapatid, Lahat tayo ay inabot lang ng pag-ibig ng Diyos. At magpasalamat tayo, inabot po tayo ng pag-ibig ng Panginoon. Dahil bawat isa sa atin dito, meron kang dapat pasalamatan sa Panginoon na ginawa ng Diyos sa buhay mo. All of us here are the beneficiary of the love of Jesus Christ. We would not be here and enjoying the Word of God if God never did something good to us. Amen. Do you believe, brothers and sisters, even if you have a problem financially, God is still loving us. Amen. Even if you have problems physically, God's love does not change. Amen. Even if we are under sin or if we have committed a violation against the laws of God, God continues to love us. Ganyan po ang pag-ibig ng Panginoon. Ang pag-ibig ng Diyos, hindi nababawasan. Hindi po nadadagdagan. Dahil piming laging matindi ang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa bawat isa sa atin. The love of God is great and always great on, on, upon us. Amen. Praise God. Now, how does God extend His love upon us? Number one, through compassion. God extends His love upon us through compassion. That is why, with compassion, Jesus Christ actualized this love letter. He healed all the people who came to Him for physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Amen. What do I mean by this, brothers and sisters? God reached out to us by His compassion. God was merciful to us. We cannot come to God because of our sins. But God came to us because 
he first loved us and he chose us to be the object of his desire, this object of love. Mapalad po tayo, tayo ay pinili ng Diyos at kinahabaghan ng ating Panginoon. Nahabag lang ang Diyos sa atin. Ay parang hindi tayo kinakahabagan ng Diyos. Amen? Ang yabang niyo naman sir. Ang yabang mo naman brother. Amen? Parang utang na loob mo pa yung utang na loob pa ng Diyos na nagsimba ka ngayon. Mali pag-iisip niyang kapatid. Baka isang araw bumalik ka ng sitwasyo. Magpasalamat ka. Kinakahabagan pa tayo ng Panginoon. It is just the mercy of God. It is just the love of the Father that sustains us, that blesses us, that feeds us, that protects us, and we must be very grateful in everyday give things. Father God, it is just the compassion of the Lord. God extends His mercy. He never extends His judgment. Although God warns us for judgment, He does not give His judgment, but He gives us a second chance. Amen. And for the rest of us, we have even utilized our second chance. We are on our third chance. We are on our fourth chance. And aren't you glad the Jesus that we serve is the God of chances? Amen. In spite of all our mistakes, in spite of all our sins, in spite of all those, those, uh, those sins that we keep on doing, God comes back to us with love and compassion because He knows we are weak. Palakpakan natin ang ating Panginoon. Second point, God extends His love upon us by understanding the letter of understanding, that's why he taught the people with patience and long suffering. God came to us with love by trying to understand us. Inunawa tayo ng Panginoon eh. Pati yung asawa mo, inihiwalayin ka na dahil ka maintindihan ang asawa mo eh. Amen? Pati ikaw, umalis ka na rin sa employer mo kasi hindi mo rin siya magkain, hindi mo rin siya maunawaan, hindi kayo magkaintindihan para yan ang Tagalog ang salita nyo, hindi pa rin kayo nagkakaintindihan. Ang tindi mga kapatid. Why? Kasi pag sinabing inuunawa, iniintindi. Amen? You put yourself in his or her shoes. Hindi mo ko maintindihan, brother. Hindi mo maintindihan ako, sister. Why? Kasi hindi mo naman nilalagay yung, yung, yung sarili mo sa sitwasyon ko. Eh. Kaya kung maaari sana, hindi ko na kailangan opinion mo. Kailangan ko ng pangunawa mo. But most of the time, brothers and sisters, we run out of understanding. We cannot. And we would not even try to understand anybody. Amen. Because that is the nature of man. You do me first before I do you. But great is the love of God. Amen. God gave even if we never asked. Amen. And that is the love of God. And the best thing that ever happened in my life that God understood me even if I am committing a mistake. Amen. God understands my weaknesses. Because my weaknesses, my liabilities are always present. Amen. Although I have assets, I'm always bal I'm balanced with my liabilities. Everybody has a liability. Amen. Nobody is a perfect. But God knows our strength and our weaknesses. And aren't you glad God understands us because God created us? Yeah. Come on, switch your hands and praise Him. No one, 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 no no, 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 just go back and hang on. And you need to really open it. Hang on, and 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 You provided a job for me. You protected my 
children. You could, you sustained me and you gave me the strength to move on because of the love of understanding. Grabe pa ang naman ng Panginoon. Grabe. Amen. Sa mga hindi nakakainin, hindi mo naunawa kung paano kayo naunawa ng Lord. Hanggang ngayon! Naunawa tayo ng Panginoon. Mali na tayo, naunawa tayo ng Lord eh. Amen. The third one is the love of God through sacrifice. The letter of sacrifice. That's why He displayed at the cross of Calvary. Ang ating Panginoon mga kapatid, you cannot be saying you love somebody until you are willing to sacrifice for that person. Hindi mo pwede sabihin, mahal mo siya kung wala kang panahon sa kanya, hindi ka pwede magsakripisyo sa kanya. Huwag ka magagalit kapatid, kahit po kritiwan niyo sa harapan ng Panginoon. Because true love involves sacrifice. Could you please turn to your neighbor and ask him or her, when was the last time you sacrificed for me? When was the last time you, you gave me a sacrifice? Nilibri mo ako. Ikaw na balat. Dahil yung huling panahon na ikaw naman ang nagsakripisyo sa akin. Kailan? 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 Kailan mo siya? Wala, di ba? Kasi ang Diyos lang talaga nagsakripisyo talaga sa akin. Palagpaka natin ang ating Panginoon. Sabi mo sa kanabi mo, alam mo sister, nagpunta ako sa church. Di para amoy niyo papango mo. Di para tignan niyo ang ganda ng buhok mo. O di kung galing mo mag-makeup, hindi yun ang dahilan kung bakit ako nagsimba. Nagpunta ako dito kasi kailangan ko ang Diyos nag-sacrifice muli sa akin. Come on, let's go! Praise the Lord! And that is what we get when we come to church. God does the impossible and the invisible. Come on, let's go! Praise the Lord! Amen. The letter of forgiveness. No matter how, no matter how grave your sin is, He is willing and able to forgive you. Amen. Grabe talaga ang pag-ibig ng Lord. The forgiveness of our sins. Isang malmal ang ating kasalanan. Kung saan ka napunta, doon ka nagkakat ng lahi. Do we begin again to commend ourselves 
or do we need as some others epistles of condemnation to your letters or commendations to you? What am I trying to say? Paul speaks about the epistle about love letters in 2 Corinthians 3 2. Amen. You are the epistle. What is my point? The point is, Paul believed that Christians must serve as a love letter coming from God. What is this? When God gives you forgiveness, we must forgive. When God gave you mercy, you must be an epistle of mercy. When God provided for you, you must be able to provide to others. When God understood you, we must learn to understand others. Kung ano ang itinanim sa atin ng ating Panginoon, yun din daw sana dapat ang ating aanihin sa Kanya. Alam niyo po, may inaanin na ba ako sa iyo? Amen. Ni mungo wala eh. Amen. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, kung ginawa kita ng mabuti, gumawa ka naman ng mabuti sa kapwa mo. Amen. Parang ilan lang yata na amen. 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 Kung hindi kita chinismis, huwag ka naman chinismis ng iba. Kung hindi kita pinatulan, Huwag ka rin daw. Papa, Atul, kung hindi kita binato, huwag ka rin daw. Mga mato. Kasi yun ang itinanim sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Ngunit sa ato sa'yo, mga brothers and sisters, kabaliktaran ang ating ginaganti sa kabutihan ng Diyos. Amen. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, umayos ka. Inayos ka ng Panginoon. Hindi mo naman siya inaayos. Wala kang inaayos. Tinulungan tayo ng Panginoon. Wala ka namang gustong tulungan. Binangon tayo ng Panginoon. Wala ka namang binabangon. Amen. Yes. Kanya, parang may gusto mong sabihin na pili. <laughs> Dinidelay ko muna na konti para umungin na kayo kagad eh. Amen. Ang tanong nga, bakit nga gano'n na kakagano'n? Ang daan kabutihan ng Diyos sa atin. Amen. Amen. Grabe. Amen. You missed your cue. Let me do it again. Grabs. You missed your cue again. Amen. Grabe talaga ang kabutihan ng Diyos sa atin. Kung mabibigyan mo lang, hindi makulang ang daliri mo sa kabutihan ng Panginoon. Bakit nga gano'n mga kapatid? Hindi na tayo nagiging ingrato tayo lahat. We have become ungrateful Christians. We are not grateful. We are, we think that we are privileged. Amen. You think that you're so privileged. Amen. What is being privileged? Dapat lang. Dapat lang. Dapat lang na bigay sa akin the best. Dapat lang na bigay sa akin yung pagkain ko. Dapat lang na bigay sa akin trabaho. Dapat lang tulungan niya ako. Dapat lang. Amen. Yes, God is willing to do all these things. But, there's a but. We must be an epistle of God. We must be a vessel of the Lord. God is willing to do all that if we are allowing our lives to be the love letter to others. Your mess will be a message if you allow yourself to be a vessel for others. 
Amen. Ang mga problema, mga kabigatan na pinapaintulot ng Panginoon sa ating buhay ay pinaintulot dyan upang maging mensahe ka sa iba. Our lives, our actions must be a message of love to others. Dapat po mga kamilig, yung buhay natin. Bagamat misan sumasabi tayo, pumapalpak din tayo, nagkakamali tayo, hindi na pinag-uusapan natin mga kapatid. Lahat tayo, hindi tayo perfect. Pero may mensahe dapat ang buhay natin. Meron kang mensahe ginadala sa iba. Amen. Come on, put your hands and praise the Lord. Praise God. We must be a message. We must be a messenger of God's compassion, love. Dapat, dapat nagagamit ka ng Panginoon para magparamdam din naman ng pag-ibig sa iba. Dapat nagagamit ka ng Panginoon para magparamdam ng pangunawa sa iba. Dapat nagagamit ka ng Panginoon para magtuwid sa iba. Dapat nagagamit ka rin ng Panginoon para mag-save sa iba. Amen. 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 Dahil ang ginagamit niya, binibless niya. When God uses you, He's going to abundantly bless you. If you allow. If you allow. Now the question is, it is easier said than done. Sadly, but sadly, the church of God nowadays is full of bitterness, envy, worldly, jealousy, and I don't get attitude, indifference, fear of suffering, and forgiveness. In 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 3, clearly you are an epistle of Christ, ministered by us, written not with the ink, but by the Spirit of the living God, not on the tablets of stone, but on the tablets of flesh, that is, of the heart. What am I trying to say? Therefore, as love letters of Christ, supposedly, we are written in the hearts of men to do good, but instead, we write it in stone tablets. What am I trying to say? The Bible says that we must give love if we have love in our hearts. Amen. The Bible says that we must give compassion, but we cannot give compassion if there is no compassion in our hearts. God says that we must be able to forgive, but we cannot forgive if there is no forgiveness in our hearts. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, may problema yung puso natin. Why? Kasi lahat ng ginawa sa atin, ng asawa natin, ng kamag-anap natin, ng boss natin, inukit daw natin sa bato. Nahihirapan tayong magpatawad. Why? Kasi yung ginawa sa atin, inukit mo sa bato. Pag inukit mo sa bato, ang ginawa sa inyo ng asawa mo, ang ending ninyo, hiwalayag. Why? hindi mo mapapatawad yung kalokohang ginawa niya sa iyo. Hindi mo siya mapapatawad. Why? Dahil kapag sinamang inukit mo sa bato, it is etched in stone. It is a memorial. You cannot forget the offense. Hindi mo makakalimutan yung ginawa sa akin. Naalala mo ba nung, nung pangpito ng anak natin tsaka mo ko iniwan? Ang sakit-sakit ng tiyan ko, tapos anong yung bata na dala-dala ko? Nako ko ba mga babae? Pagtapos ko padala sa iyo yung dalawang punta ko kong kita. O oh, naiintindihan na. Pambira ang buska! Ilang taon ako nagserbisyo sa iyo? Ilang taon ako nagserbisyo sa kumpanya na ito? Tsaka mo na ako aalisin. Pambihira kayo, mga anak kayo. Ila halos naubos na yung buko ko sa kakakuskus ng kotse ng asawa ko. Halos kagat-kagat na yung kamay ko dahil kinakagat ako ng aso pag pinapaligawa ko yung, yung alaka ng boss ko. Tapos uubusin na lang yung pinalala kong pera saan? 
sa pananood ng sine. Isa na mag-aaral kayo! Isa na mag-aaral kayo! Nagpapuntis ka pa! Kasi masyari siya nasaktan eh. 
Не бачу, не бачу, що нам був гайнер. Це не тільки стоня. Why? Це не тільки стоня. Це не тільки стоня. And that is the complication, brothers and sisters, of an atherosclerotic heart. A hardened heart. Vice can now bust them. Google in a heart. Do we get the same pulse of a body? And sometimes, when you have a hardened heart, you come to church. And when you come to church, amen, you expect those church folks to love you and understand you. Guess what? They're also hardened in heart. Why? All of us here, including myself, we are hurt in a certain extent. Amen. Nasaktan tayo lahat eh. Bawat isa sa atin dito, naging sa wika. Sabi mo sa alam mo, naging sa wika, di ba? Sawi ka, sawi din ako eh. Amen. Sabi mo sa alam mo, pre-preo lang tayo. Sabi mo sa kanya, huwag mong hanapin sa akin yung inahanap ko din sa'yo. Ano ba yung English niyo? Do not ask for things that I cannot provide because I cannot. hindi ko may bibigay sa'yo yung gusto mo. Yung atensyon na gusto mo, hindi ko pwede ibigay sa'yo yan. Hindi ko bigay, hindi ko pwede ibigay sa'yo yung inahanap mo sa asawa mo. Hindi ko pwede ibigay sa'yo yung inahanap mo sa anak mo. Hindi ko pwede ibigay sa'yo yan kasi trabaho ng Diyos yan. Come on, let's go put your hands in place now. Do not ask for things that man cannot provide. And some of us we marry for the wrong reason. I love you because you give me money. I love you because you give me sex. I love you because you, you give me a pride over my friend. I give, I love you because you are my knight in shining armor. Wow. In Tagalog, tall, dark, and monkey. <laughs> I love you because there is always a because. And that is an indication that your heart is stone red. Malalaman mo matigas na yung puso mo kapag may condition ka sa pag-ibig. Mamahalin lang kita kung ibibigay mo, papakainin mo yung dalawa na ito. Pakainin mo yung mga apu ko, pati kapit-bahay ko, pag tumutang yun, wag mong hihindihan niya. Mamahalin lang kita kung ibibigay mo yung hilig ko. Mamasayin mo mo yung bato ko. Parang tumahimig niya na. Oo, baka may na nagnamahal tayo mga kapatid. Pero ang sabi ng Panginoon, mga sinyari siya na hindi ka sa'yo puso mo, kapatid. Amen. Nag-worship ka, hindi mo nararamdaman ang presence ng Lord at papikat na sa'yo ang gawain ng Diyos. Tumagagalit, sinyari siya. Your heart is hardened. Because if your heart is not hardened, you desire the presence of God. You desire the living water from the Holy Spirit. You desire to live a righteous life. Dapat yun ay hinahanap mo eh. Pero bakit nga mga kapatid, ganun ang nagkakagaran ang lumalabas sa iyong mga bibig? Ganun, masyado ka nang nagiging malupit. Malupit ka sa kapwa mo, malupit ka sa asawa mo, pati sa opisina at inaalagaan mo, malupit ka. Bakit ka naging malupit? Baka sinyari siya, matigas na ang puso mo. You can never take no for an answer. And you can never accept defeat. You will never concede to anything. Why? Because you think life is all about winning. 
you are badly mistaken. Life is supposed to be living. Come on, put your hands and praise the Lord. Matigas ka, kapatid. Matigas ka lang. Amen. Amen. Ang Panginoon, tumigas tayo. Dahil kapag tumigas ka at naging matigas ka lang, at puro pato na ang puso mo, at pato na ang puso mo, umasa ka, may babatuhin ka. At pag may pinato ka, umasa ka, babatuhin ka rin. At pag pinato ka, ng dalawa, umasa ka, tatlo ang pambabato ko sa'yo. At pag pinato ka ng tatlo, umasa ka, lima ang ibabato pa balik sa'yo. Ano nangyari at ginawa mo sa buhay mo? Pinayagan mo lang ang sarili mo, patuhin ang patuhin ang patuhin at palaki ng palaki at palala ng palala ang sinusyon ng mga kasawa. Palala na palala ang mga lalagyan na ito. Palala na palala ang mga kabal ng sinusyon ninyo sa opisina. Why? Batuhan kayo ng batuhan. And you become a casualty of your own war because of your desire to fight back and win just to say that you won. Never realize it's a problem of heart. Bakit gano'n? Hindi ka dahil ka nawawalan ng trabaho. Nawawalan ng trabaho mo. Why? Kasi kapag may dis diskusyonan, ayaw mo magpatalo. Gusto mo ikaw lang lagi may huling salita. You always want the final word. Kung okay, parang wala yata kayo. There's a sign that your heart has been hardened. How will you also know that your heart is hardened when you, when you just pursue work? Your priority is work, work, and work. Your priority is making money. You do not have time for the Word of God. You do not have time to serve the Lord. You do not have time or willingness to support the ministry of God. Kumagagalan, kapatid. Baka naging bato ka na. Amen. Pag bato ka na, Amen. Mahirap mabuhay ng bato. Because if your heart is hardened, a stone is heavy. It's heavy to carry. When you're in the MRT, you don't stand up, you always like to sit down. You're very heavy, man. Amen. Ang bigat ng dibdib mo palagi. Amen. Like ang galit, like ang insecure, like ang nag-aalala, like ang nagkatakot. Why? Kasi mabigat ka eh. Baka naging puso ng bato ka na. Ang bato mabigat. Kaya misa nararamdaman natin, bakit mabigat ang damdamin ko sa asawa mo? Mabigat talaga kasi may hollow blocks eh. Patumpatong yung hollow blocks eh. Your heart has been hardened. Because you think that hardening your heart is a way to survive and to deal with pain. But there is a solution. And I praise the Lord. Even if my heart has been hardened, God has a way to soften my heart again. God has a way to soften my heart from a heart of stone to the heart of flesh. Ganyang mabuti ang Panginoon. Ang gusto niya, ayaw ka nang mabigatan. Ayaw ka nang laging dalit ka. Ayaw na laging problemado ka. Ang gusto ng Panginoon, itong araw na ito, lalabas ka dito, magalang na magalang ang dibdib mo. Why? Kasi yung pinigaw mo ng bato sa Panginoon. Come on, sweet your hands and praise the Lord. Amen. What we by this? Let's go jump to letter C. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 36, 26. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. If you feel that you have unforgiveness in your heart, if you feel that you have so much lust in your heart, if you feel that you have so much anger, in your heart. If you feel that you have so much unforgiveness in your heart, the Bible says, give me that hardened heart and I will give you a new heart. What I mean by this, today's objective of God is to do a bypass surgery. Amen. To take away that heart that is dying and put on another heart that is willing to forgive. You take out a heart that is full of stress and give you a heart that is full of peace. 
Put it in the heart that is full of, uh, of, of, of vengeance. And put it in a heart that is willing to give another chance. And that is what we want. And that is the objective of the Lord. The impossible and the invisible. Because God works in our soul. Come on, put your hands up. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's all give it to the Lord. Lord, I give you my heart. Alisin mo yung puso. Bakit ka ba nagpapakalulun sa trabaho? Why? Kasi namumublema ka sa anak mo. Namumublema ka sa future mo. Takot ang nananay. Huwag ka raw mag-alala. Ang bahala dyan ay ang Panginoon. God holds the future in your hand, in His hands. That's what you don't have to put. You don't have to put your life in your hands. You have to trust in the Lord. Ipa, ipa sa Diyos mo na lahat. May problema ka sa boss mo? Ipa sa Diyos mo na lahat. May problema ka sa employment mo? Ipa sa Diyos mo na lahat. Napipigaw ka kay brother? Ipa sa Diyos mo na lahat. Napipigaw ka kay sister? Ipa sa Diyos mo na lahat. Huwag mo nagkakalhin sa puso mo kasi pipigat ka at magiging bato ka lang. Do not put this in your heart. Because the moment it reaches your heart, it will reach your senses and your actions. Amen. God wants us to have a heart that is full of love. Amen. How do we do and how do we achieve a heart that is full of love? Would you like to know? Amen. Sino ang gusto gumang sa araw na ito magsabing praise the Lord? Amen. Sino ang gusto gumang talagang dibdib niya sa problema niya sa asawa niya magsabing Amen. Amen. sa pamilya niya para hindi siya masyara nag-aalala mo sabi Hallelujah Pusin ko yan dahil nag-chimba ka palakpahan natin ang ating Lord Praise God Lord and by this diretsyo na natin para hindi tayo magtagal mga kapatid In order for us to change that heart of stone into a heart of flesh is we must not keep a record of wrong. Yeah. Hindi mo mapapalitan yung puso mo ng puso malambot at puso ng Diyos kung wala kang ibang inaalala. You must remove that record of wrong. Remember the good days that you have with your husband. Nalala ko, nagtatakbuhan pa tayo dun sa Nakita, nakita kita talaga. Grabe, nakita ko may puno pa doon. Nung inukit ko pa yung pangalan. Pinatatungo pa nga pangalan mo dito sa, sa, ano ko, sa brass ko, Helen. Tapos sa kabila, mga kabal, Martha. Ay, may buba mga kabal. Hindi ko pinapakita sa'yo. Inaalala mo yung mabuti. Pastor, wala akong maalala ng mabuti sa asawa ko. Kasalanan mo, hindi ko pumili dyan eh. Remember the good through the bad. Amen. What am I trying to say? Follow that. Follow when you eat chicken, na you know eat chicken, right? You eat the flesh, ah, and you throw away the bone, right? You take the good, don't take away the, don't eat the bad. Pero na ako maso ka, ayon pati buto ka hindi mo. Eat the good. Parang wala yan ang gusto ko. Lord, tulungan mo ako yung church na pinatala mo din sa Singapore. Puro walang inisip, hindi masama sa kapwa niya. Yun ang problema natin eh. Wala ka na inisip, wala na ang nakasukal pa sa mata mo kung di yung ginawa niya. E paano man yung ginawa niya mabuti? Tagalog na po ito mga kapatid. It's Tagalog preaching already. What else can you do? I already tried to explain to you that in order for you to change your heart, you have to change the way you think. You cannot change your heart if you don't change the way you think towards the offense. Kapag nakakagawa siya na hindi maganda sa'yo, yes, automatic magagalit ka, pero wag mo namang kalimutan yung ginawa naman niyang mabuti. Minsan sa sampung ginawa niyang tama, 
ang isa mali niya, yung isa yung tinatandaan mo. Yung siyang nakalimutan mo na. Kanya, kung ikaw naman na nagkasala, anong sabi mo sa kanila? Nakalimutan na nila yung ginawa ko. Hindi nila ako appreciated. Pero sabi mo, Amen, pag nagkakasala tayo, ang aking Panginoon, nakatingin siya, hindi lang doon sa ginawa na nating mali, doon sa mga naitama din naman na akin. Kanya ang Panginoon, maputi, dahil alam kong sumabit ka sa dalawa, pero okay pa din, kasi pag tatlo lang yung ginawa mong tama, okay pa din yan. Why? Because God appreciates more and expects less. Appreciate ka ng Lord eh. Natuwa pa rin ang Lord. Sa loob ng isang taon, nakapag-church ka ng isa. <laughs> Hindi. Na-appreciate ka ng Lord. Sa sampung taon mo, sa tugat ka ng Lord, isang buong ka lang nag-fights. Naalala pa rin ang Lord dyan. <laughs> Naalala niya ang Panginoon. Why? Kasi lahat ng ginagawa natin patungkol sa Panginoon, naaalala ng Panginoon at yun ang inaalala ng Panginoon kaya tayo pinapatawad ng Panginoon kaya na, kaya na kaya magpatawad kasi tinitignan na yung mabuti God looks on your capacity to do good rather than your mistake and that is the formula to change our heart that is the formula to fix your marriage That is the formula to fix your relationship with your co-worker. That is the formula to deal when you're dealing with your son and your children. Look not only on the bad, but try to see the good in that person. Oh no! Sabi mo na madaltal ako. Oh no! Sabi mo na 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 ano na misan ano? Ma-chismis talaga ako. Bakit bakit na talaga hindi na ako eh? Pwede naman ang tinidor, kakamutin ko lang. Eh talaga, meron talaga ako eh. Basta wala akong magagawa. Okay lang yun. Nandindihan talaga kita. Isang araw, baba, hindi nang dila mo. Pero naka-appreciate kita. Why? Kasi naka-appreciate tayo ng Lord. Nakikita niya yung paglilingkod natin. Nakikita niya yung mga natatama naman natin. Nakikita niya na nasisimba ka naman. Eh, may miss ka pilit. Nakikita niya mga kapatid na na miss ka si na sumusuporta ka. Nakikita naman niya na miss ka miss ka pa ng mga kapatid. May nakita kang pera, hindi mo kinukupit. Amen. 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 Paano din yung palitata na hindi niya? Amen. Amen. Look on to the good. And start to look on to the good. And I guarantee you, if you can learn to see the good in the bad, your life will be happy. Amen. The moment you change your focus on the on the mistake, from the mistake to what the person did, you will change your perception about that person. Amen. Hindi lumutang yung galit sa puso mo. Lulutang yung mag-unawa. At kung hindi mo kayong gawin yan, hindi rin ang gagawin ng Lord sa iyo. Pag hindi mo inunawa yung kapatid mo, hindi ka rin unawain ang Diyos. Para nagkasala ka. Hindi ka rin ito bless ng Lord. Kasi hindi ka nagiging blessing. Hindi ka rin tutulungan ng Panginoon. Why? Kasi hindi mo siya tinulungan yun. Why? Kasi nakita mo yung mali, hindi mo nakita yung tama naman yung ginawa. All of us, we are under training. Even if you see somebody outside committing a mistake, we have no right to judge them. God does not give us the right to judge them. But we tend to judge. Why? Because we look at the mistake, we don't look at what the other person can do. 
And that is the way we change our hearts. Yan ang paraan. And if we would not change our heart, anong ginagawa ng Panginoon sa puso ng bato? Dinudurog ng Diyos yun eh. Gusto mo ba isang araw may sakit ka ba na hindi gumagaling para matuto ka lang magpatawad? Gusto mo ba isang araw maghirap ka talaga para maintindihan mo yung tinuturo ng Diyan na yun? Alam mo isang araw maglupa ka pa para matuto ka magpaumbaga. Kailangan ba isang araw magkaroon ka pa ng isang sakit na hindi gumagaling para maunawaan mo? Amen. Na, na, hindi ka, na, na, hindi tayo pwede humus ka. Amen. Kailangan ba isang araw mas masahol pa yung kasalanan na ginagawa niya at yun din ang gagawin mo mas masahol ka pa. Why? Lagi na ako hindi magtuloy. Amen po ba? The Bible says, all of us, we must change our hearts. And the moment we change our hearts, we will change our mind. And the moment we change our mind, we will change our decisions. This, ganyan yung masama mo. Ganyan talaga o gali niyan. Makalat talaga yan. Amen. Minsan, pag, ano, pag kumain yan, inuubos lahat yung manok, hindi ka tinitirhan. Ano, ano po, okay naman yan eh. At saka may mayaman naman yung may pera ka rin yan. Okay na yun, di ba? Amen po ba? Dahil sabi ng Panginoon, yun, meron mga good side naman yan eh. Okay naman, okay na yun, okay naman yan. <laughs> Amen? O sabihin, Amen? Kasi tayo naghahanap tayo ng pera. Gusto mo perfect ang boyfriend mo? Eh, ikaw, perfect ka pa? Eh, mukhang buti yung balakang mo. <laughs> Nagahanap ka ng perfect, hindi naman perfect. Nagahanap ka ng perfect na asawa, walang perfect na asawa. Yeah. Kung iniisip mo yung ex mo yung perfect, nagkakamaling ka pa, nagkatuluyan ka doon, ayaw mo din yun. Yeah. Kung parang wala makahimit sa akin. Yeah. Mag-aimin kayo, mag-aimin kayo, mag-aimin tayo mga kapatid. Dahil ginagamot ng Diyos yung puso natin. God is curing our hearts. God is curing our mind. God is curing us from the inside. By changing our perception. Change our perception. We change the way you see things. We change the way you live things. And then the blessing comes. Then the goodness comes. Then victory comes. Amen. Amen. Gusto mo ng perfect. Hindi naman tayo perfect. Ano sa nito? Kailangan tumanggap ka ng imperfect. Amen. At pag tumanggap ka at nagatanggap mo na yung imperfect, tayo na imperfect, tatanggapin din ng perfect. Walang pa ka natin ang ating Panginoon mga kapalit. To God be the glory. Nothing 